Chapter 9 All Israel was listed in the genealogies recorded in the Book of the Kings of Israel. The people of Judah were taken captive to Babylon because of their unfaithfulness. Now the first to resettle on their own property in their own towns were some Israelites, priests, Levites, and temple servants. Those from Judah, from Benjamin, and from Ephraim and Manasseh who lived in Jerusalem were Uthai, son of Amihud, the son of Amri, the son of Imri, the son of Bani, a descendant of Perez, son of Judah, of the Shilonites, Isaiah, the firstborn, and his sons, of the Zerahites, Jeuel, the people from Judah numbered 690, of the Benjamites, Salu, son of Meshulam, the son of Hodaviah, the son of Hazanua, Ibniah, son of Jeroham, Elah, son of Azai, the son of Mikrai, and Meshulam, son of Shephatiah, the son of Ruel, the son of Ibnijah. The people from Benjamin, as listed in their genealogy, numbered 956. All these men were heads of their families. Of the priests, Judea, Jehoiarib, Jachin, Azariah, son of Hilkiah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Zadok, the son of Mareah, the son of Ahitub, the official in charge of the house of God. Adaiah, son of Jeroham, the son of Pasher, the son of Malchijah, and Maasai, son of Adiel, the son of Jazerah, the son of Meshulam, the son of Meshulamith, the son of Immer. The priests, who were heads of families, numbered 1,760. They were able men, responsible for ministering in the house of God. Of the Levites, Shemaiah, son of Hashem, the son of Azrakam, the son of Hashabiah, a Merarite, Bakbaker, Hirish, Galal, and Mataniah, son of Micah, the son of Zikri, the son of Asaph, Obadiah, son of Shemaiah, the son of Galal, the son of Jejuthun, and Berechiah, son of Asa, the son of Elkanah, who lived in the villages of the Netophathites, the gatekeepers, Shalom, Akab, Talman, Ahiman, and their brothers, Shalom, their chief, being stationed at the king's gate on the east up to the present time. These were the gatekeepers belonging to the camp of the Levites. Shalom, son of Kori, the son of Abiasaph, the son of Korah, and his fellow gatekeepers from his family, the Korahites, were responsible for guarding the thresholds of the tent, just as their fathers had been responsible for guarding the entrance to the dwelling of the Lord. In earlier times, Phinehas, son of Eleazar, was in charge of the gatekeepers, and the Lord was with him. Zechariah, son of Meshelamiah, was the gatekeeper at the entrance to the tent of meeting. Altogether, those chosen to be gatekeepers at the thresholds numbered 212. They were registered by genealogy in their villages. The gatekeepers had been assigned to their positions of trust by David and Samuel, the seer. They and their descendants were in charge of guarding the gates of the house of the Lord, the house called the tent. The gatekeepers were on the four sides, east, west, north, and south. Their brothers in their villages had to come from time to time and share their duties for seven-day periods. But the four principal gatekeepers, who were Levites, were entrusted with the responsibility for the rooms and treasuries in the house of God. They would spend the night stationed around the house of God because they had to guard it, and they had charge of the key for opening it each morning. Some of them were in charge of the articles used in the temple service. They counted them when they were brought in and when they were taken out. Others were assigned to take care of the furnishings and all the other articles of the sanctuary, as well as the flour and wine and the oil, incense and spices. But some of the priests took care of mixing the spices. A Levite named Mattathiah, the firstborn of Shalom the Korahite, was entrusted with the responsibility for baking the offering bread. Some of their Kohathite brothers were in charge of preparing for every Sabbath the bread set out on the table. Those who were musicians, heads of Levite families, stayed in the rooms of the temple and were exempt from other duties because they were responsible for the work day and night. All these were heads of Levite families, chiefs, as listed in their genealogy, and they lived in Jerusalem. Jael, the father of Gibeon, lived in Gibeon. His wife's name was Maacah. And his firstborn son was Abdon, followed by Zur, Kish, Baal, Ner, 
Nadab, Gedor, Ahio, Zechariah, and Mikloth. Mikloth was the father of Shimeon. They too lived near their relatives in Jerusalem. Ner was the father of Kish, Kish the father of Saul, and Saul the father of Jonathan, Malchishua, Abinadab, and Eshbaal, the son of Jonathan, Merabbaal, who was the father of Micah, the sons of Micah, Python, Melech, Tariah, and Ahaz. Ahaz was the father of Jada, Jada was the father of Alameth, Asmaveth, and Zimri. And Zimri was the father of Moza. Moza was the father of Binia. Rephaia was his son. Eliasa, his son. And Azel, his son. Azel had six sons, and these were their names. Azrakam, Bokaru, Ishmael, Sheariah, Obadiah, and Hanan. These were the sons of Azel.